Hey guys, Peter B has condemned the approach being taken by President Bola Tinubu to revive Nigerians' economy, stressing that Tinubu is just wasting his time by moving from one country to another and inviting foreign investors. According to the former Anambra state governor, who contested for the presidency during the last general election on the platform of the Labour Party. He said if the federal government ensures that the environment, environment is good for business, there will not be any need to be seeking for foreign investors because they will be glad to in, invest in Nigeria as a result of the favorable business environment. This is coming after President Tinubu invited foreign investors to Nigeria during the 78th section of the United Nations General Assembly in New York, United States, where he told American entrepreneurs to feel free and safe to invest in Nigeria. The president, while speaking at the Nigerian U.S. Executive Business Roundtable, try to convince the investors, stressing that Nigerians are brilliant people who both innovate and consume at a large scale. Nigeria is an opportunity that is, imp that is impossible to replicate or find elsewhere in any part of the world. We have brilliant young people who both innovate and consume at a large scale. Our entrepreneurial spirit is a major part of what makes our market totally unique, aside from demography, he said. However, while speaking on the development at an event in Enugu, Peter B said, a good business environment always attracts foreign investors, claiming that the federal government who does not know where the country is heading is wasting time going abroad to seek investors. According to Obi, Tinubu's government is not only wasting resources on the needless approach of meeting foreign investors, but also wasting time of Nigerians. I came back here and told someone that you don't go looking for foreign investors. Anyone going around looking for foreign investors is wasting everyone's time. Foreign investors are like bees and honey. If you put honey here, how the bees will convey, no one will tell you, he said. Meanwhile, the International Monetary Fund, IMF, has said that President Bola Tinubu's overseas trips to market Nigeria are not enough to bring in the needed foreign exchange liquidity that would salvage the Naira from crashing against the U.S. dollar. Ari Harinzi, I am resident, representative to the Nigeria, said on Tuesday that the administration should also focus on reducing the number of Naira in the economy. On Tuesday, the Naira trade at 1,000 Naira per dollar at the ununified, un unofficial markets and 773.25 at the Nigerian foreign exchange market. Money supply, MI, declined from 24.2 trillion in August 2023 to 24.16 trillion in July, according to Africa data. The IMF representative acknowledged the efforts from the government in the past month trying to bring more supply of foreign exchange into the market. But Arinzin said, advertising Nigeria abroad through successful visits to India to the UAF now in New York is very important that the image of Nigeria and its potential can come across very clearly to clearly to all stakeholders, investors, local and abroad. But a lot of the focus should also be in supply of, Na of Naira, not only on the supply of foreign exchange. Here is what we have been saying for quite some time, the need of tightened monetary policy. 
taking liquidity out of the system. There are too many Naira chasing yet too few dollars. As I have alluded before in previous conversation, it is very important to reduce the amount of Naira, reduce the growth rate of money supply domestically in Nigeria. The Central Bank of Nigeria has floated the currency and harmonized the foreign exchange markets windows into the Nigerian foreign exchange market, formerly one and EFX window as recommended by the IMF and the World Bank. Arinze said the physical policies should seek to rely on the way and means, and then we have heard that this is so far taking place that this year. There are some legacy issues, but phrasing out all the operations of the central bank that are not conducive to ruin liquidity in the volume of Naira is the economy phasing out financing of the physical deficit of the government. So guys, have you heard it now? What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.